When I was young, we couldn't afford Lego. I grew up with Lincoln logs and little things like that, playing in a dirt pile, and I was envious of my friends who had Lego. It's kind of been in my nature since I was a kid to build and create. I'd make dirt squares out of clay and make little houses out of sticks. When I was going off to college and there was a big stress factor involved, and I just remember my dad putting his hand on my shoulder. He just said, son, find some activity that can help keep you young. I call it my Peter Pan hobby. People call it a toy. I call it an art form. 15 years ago, I found myself in a little bit of a rough patch. I was a little down and discouraged. We could afford Lego at that time, and so I'd buy my sons kind of your standard Lego kits and help them put them together. One day I came home, turned on some jazz, and I just started to build. So about 10 years ago, I kind of got serious, acquired a bunch of Lego. I try to tell a lot of stories, and that's easy to do with many figures. A lot of people early on thought it was a bit odd, and then once they got to see the work, they became kind of fascinated and said, you know what, that's not such a bad hobby. <laughs> Mystic Castle is comprised of about 30,000 Lego. It took me about 200 hours to build. This particular style is what they call free building, and that means you just kind of close your eyes, dream, and you just start building. I think Lego is a language that a lot of kids with special needs can identify with, especially kids with autism. You just see their whole countenance just change. They smile, they'll move from behind their parent to in front of their parent, they'll begin to make eye contact, and I'll kneel down and we'll just start talking. They'll ask dozens of questions that other kids don't ask, and they'll also pepper me with ideas. Have you considered this? What about a little pond or a stream or a, you know, making a river? Um, how about a medieval village with rolling hills that goes in front of the castle? Have you ever considered building this castle in a mountain? Uh, the answer there is I have, but that cost about another $10,000 to build. But that probably gives me the greatest joy. <laughs> People travel hundreds of miles to see the latest Lego builds. The United States especially is inundated with adult fans of Lego. People can't get enough of it. So if this particular form of creativity can put a smile on someone's face and introduce a bit of wonder into their life, even with adults, you can see them kind of in their mind racing back to childhood, then I've accomplished what I'm out to accomplish.